Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart and covering the breakout of the range that we have seen here this weekend and how this is likely to play out going into Monday. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy the video and let's get straight into the analysis. So as you know, on Friday, we were looking at the lower of the range where we had our well-defined low and high and we have rotated from low to high to low to high to low back up to the highs and this time instead of holding it as resistance we have had a breakout if you cast your minds back to friday's video we were discussing the probabilities of the low being in and my words were the the likely well the probabilities are low until we can claim that resistance back as support and that's exactly what happened yesterday on saturday we have no longer obviously this is what we were going under the thesis of old old support once broken acts as resistance and to get rid of that what we needed to do was really clear that 17,400 17,500 and that's exactly what we done yesterday so then we're looking at the case of okay if this was old support and then it flipped into resistance for a few days once that resistance is then broken it's then support once more and we can look for higher levels and then we can say the probabilities that the low is in is obviously greatly increased so what we have a case of now is a, in my opinion, a really nice breakout. There has been uh, honestly no reason to short any of this right now. And I, and I truly don't believe there's a reason to short at the moment. Kind of what I've been saying, like, there's just been no reason to short since, since, the, since you broke that range. Um, it, you know, you've just should really should have only been looking for longs because there, there has just been no reason to short. And in my opinion, this is kind of fueled by a few different reasons. I'll, I'll attach a video to the end of this where I've got a little bit of um, live commentary almost. But the way that I view this is that there are a lot of people revenge trading. And what do I mean by revenge trading? I mean, people that have taken um, shorts down here, people that have sold out here, are then seeing the rise in price. And instead of thinking, okay, this is a valid breakout, let's long the breakout, you got, you got people trapped in the mentality of thinking, oh no, I shorted down here or I missed the long down here and now I'm going to revenge trade by opening shorts, wanting it to almost come down to here. And obviously, it's the wrong way to be trading this. Your approach should be, okay, we have broken the low of the range. Let's, let's actually trade with the trend that we have now and that's obviously looking for longs. But, you know, people struggle with that, I believe. And you've got the case of, a, you know, a short squeeze up here where people just keep on attempting to short, to short, to short, to short, to short. And even where we are now, you've got many people attempting to short. You even got these patterns such as the double top. Okay, exactly. Well, there we go. We, we've broken it. <laughs> but I was going to point out this. You had this ex absolutely exact double top uh, as this is trying to move. And they had the pullback. But again, that's that's just, it's just like a way to bring in people to short. Whereas there's, there's absolutely... There's just absolutely no reason to. Um, in my opinion, you know, there's just no reason to short this at the moment. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, uh, I might as well refer you to this post. But uh, I was saying that I think, oh, actually, it might have been up a little bit. But I was saying I think we go towards 8,400, 8,500 here. Um, obviously, we can remember, or hopefully you can remember, the, the level where we found support. And that was obviously taking our fib from the low up to the high. And we put on our CC template. And we found support right on that CC, which which looks very nice now. So always, what I'd be thinking of is, okay, if we've if we've reject, we've found support on this lower CC, we formed a range, and now we've broken out of that range. Obviously, you'd be then looking at towards your opposite CC, which would be pulling from the high down to the low, and you can see we're approaching that now. That's between eighteen thousand two hundred and seventy three to eighteen thousand four hundred. Uh, this for me is a level of interest let's just put it like this. this is a level of interest where myself would be interested in shorting but i wouldn't the way that i would approach this is i wouldn't be like pre-setting shorts i wouldn't just place a limit order here and short you know that's really i don't think the way to approach this i'd be kind of wanting to see some form of a rejection some form of at least local market structure change or at least some sort of reason that it's just not going to add me into everybody else that shorted thus far and, and that's basically adding fuel or you know adding fuel to the flame at the moment which is to the upside so i'd, I'd really want to see that step of of confirmation maybe we put in a range obviously it'll be a smaller percentage range this was a massive percentage that was an absolute crazy range uh but really we could expect some sort of smaller range to be put in here maybe a percent or two 
and then look for breakdowns of, of said range if, if it forms i mean this range that we obviously had down at the lows was um you know <laughs> crazy crazy from the low to the high we were looking at six percent i mean that is a massive range and obviously what you do is you put in your higher low here so you went so you, re you really put in your low and then obviously you broke the last high here so you put in a high then you put in a higher low and then you've broken up now for your higher high really that happened as soon as you broke 18 17,500 you put in the higher high but you can also see here how there was areas of support back off of the middle of the channel retest just so you know the middle of the channel is obviously an important level um so the way that i'm approaching this now is is you know i'm, I'm aware that we are approaching a region that for myself anyway is, is an interesting short um i suppose i could view this in two ways I, I i really could get aggressive where we are now and go right i'm gonna short this i'm gonna short this down to fifteen thousand dollars for example you know i think we're gonna get a really really red uh, you know this was a weekend pump and it gets fully reversed on monday or i could approach this and this is the way i'm approaching this a little bit more sensible i believe well, this is offer that you have to remember. You could be watching this, and we've rejected heavily off eighteen thousand five hundred, and we're sat at seventeen thousand, for example. And then obviously, I'll have had new data to react to. But off of the data that I have right now, then I have to say, at the moment, I'm looking for higher. My short would only be taken off of some form of a rejection, and off of again, off of the data I have now, I have no reason to believe that Monday will be red. I'm actually looking towards a green Monday. And that is going to be from the people that sold maybe Friday night, people that sold Thanksgiving uh, to not trade the weekend. They're going to have seen that they've sold basically the low. And, um, you know, I'm imagining that they're going to be FOMO buying back in at the highs or at least where we open up. Um, you know, I kind of wrote this here. I would imagine, to be honest, Monday is green. So many people that sold the bottom, they'll come back in Monday and buy in. Uh, Popeye <laughs> bought a whole Bitcoin at the bottom. I mean... But that's kind of my thought process as it stands. A lot of people that sold the lows just thinking, you know, just it could have just been under the premise of I, I want to sell the weekend and not trade the weekend. And I think that's absolutely fine. But we have to imagine they're likely, you know, it's likely that Monday opens and we could see that green push as people buy back in. OK, and then we maybe possibly get our reversal on Tuesday. But again, that's that's something into the future. It's just a uh, kind of an idea that I have. It's obviously not something I'd put money towards it's just an idea that i have of how that could play out for me to put money on the line on you know a trade I, I'd, I'd need to you know i'd need to actually see some confirmation of this um but that's kind of the thought process that i have right now um i, I feel that that's kind of invalidated where we might not get a green monday if we reject off of eighteen thousand three hundred. well really 18 300 18 500 if if we reject off of this region then yeah it's more likely that we could get a red monday so really the next you know 200 dollars how the reaction goes from here for me is pretty pivotal it really is pretty pivotal uh but really the final words that i can help you with in this in to, to end the video is i really don't see the need to be uh shorting this rise as it stands you know literally since we broke out of that range there's just been no reason to short any of this okay you know really I believe this was only a long again okay, and obviously from the breakout we're up um from 17,500 almost 18,200 so you know you're looking at a 700 dollar increase in price where there should have been no reason looking for shorts and quite simply only looking to long it and that's trading off of a breakout of the range and then I am interested in shorts 100% I'm interested in shorts at this region because we're coming into that other opposite CC but what I would prefer to do instead of timing the exact high I'd prefer to see that again, little bit of a range form, which I think is is a great possibility, and then breakdown of said range. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of the analysis that I have for you today. How we could have approached this in terms of okay, we bounced off the CC, but then we form a range. It was a great trading range. We broke the high of the range, and from there we've moved up another seven hundred dollars. Uh, could we reverse from here? We could, but what we'd want to see is again a little bit of a breakdown from the current range hope this has been helpful for you how i'm approaching this market hello everybody i hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's video which is showing you the absolute power of technical analysis and what we like to call group confluence so within chart champions we have i would say about five to eight absolute master level traders and today we had three of the traders all coming together to give their buy levels at the exact same region and this is what we call power and this region was between 16,400 and 16,450. 
we put in the low at $16,445. I want to start by saying Trader R, the absolute legend today. Nine trade ideas, nine wins. And he has been sharing these with the group each step of the way. I'll refer you to his latest one here, which was the upwards move before down, before coming back up. We got that upwards move. We were obviously looking for that to come down to around $16,448. It came down, wicked onto the entry, literally wicked onto the entry. And now we sit at 16760 I mean, that's already 2%. You have to appreciate how good this is. In just over one hour, that has been a move up of 2.3%. When you're trading with size, that is a massive, massive, massive move. Let me just tell you that especially for one hour of trading. Uh, I refer you to this post though. This is the one that made me uh, chuckle. <laughs> um, let's go to it. Oh my. And to top it all off, you have one of the best traders in the group, the almighty crystal ball template by the one and only Igor, telling us that we have the value area low at 16,415. Are you kidding me? So three of the best traders in the group all have three different confluences to long around 16,420. I think we should all put 1 million limit buys at that area because there is too much reasons not to buy there. Ladies and gentlemen, if people spread their 1 million limit buys at that area, <laughs> that is a 2% rise in literally uh, an hour. That would have that made $20,000. Not bad, not bad at all. Let's take profit one hit, looking for higher, and that is what we call group confluence. Each step of the way, staying patient again, staying patient, waiting for that long. That, again, this is was posted around two thirty, but two thirty, you could have been longing up around here at sixteen thousand nine hundred dollars, but we're staying very patient, waiting for those lower entries. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what we call our champions <laughs> so here we are half 10 saturday night <laughs> i'm saying to the team i think bitcoin can push up again i, I really feel that we're going to hit eighteen thousand dollars at least here um you kind of had this really good trap last night but it was just last night yeah last night where you had the resistance trend line and when you see this um you just have to expect it to break because it's kind of just bringing in so many shorts the selling pressure decreases and, and you, you manage to get that short squeeze essentially through and the short squeeze through that level has just continued up to where you now are up around seventeen thousand eight hundred dollars i do not think it's done yet uh, i think there's a little bit more up to come um so this still for me is not a short position as it stands because really simply well really simply i think it's going to go up more um you also have this really nice area where we're just trapping in baiting in shorts really it really feels like you're baiting in shorts to try and short this like head and shoulders pan so you can see here you kind of have this head and shoulders where you have the left shoulder you have a head and you have this right shoulder but i'm fairly certain looking at the data that this is going to be a fake out and it will push up before any major downside so i think the people shorting here early are, are going to get trapped um or at least stopped as we push up again uh, but that, that's literally the last post i done 10 minutes ago. That's the video to go along with it. And I'm going to take the evening off again. But I am expecting that from here. So not short yet. Cheers. So good morning, everybody. What a rise we had overnight. The fake out of the head and shoulders bringing us up to 18,150. Remembering the group confluence was down there at 16,400. We now sit at 18,145. As I'm saying to my team, Got to take it step by step, step by step. I'm still looking for higher now. Let's go 18,400, 18,500. This rally seems to be fueled by people trying to keep on shorting. Okay, you have to look at the funding rate. There's loads of people trying to short this rise. And in my opinion, it's kind of the people revenge trading. Uh, people revenge trying to short because they've missed long in the bottom. And now because they're so annoyed, they seem to be trying to just short and short and short and short and short and short. And even right now, I still feel we're going to push up again because it's just gra it's just grabbing so many shorts at this level. Um, so, yeah, looking up again, I, I reckon to 
anywhere between 8 300 8 500 18 500 obviously 18,300 that region is my next area that i'm looking for still not going to take a short here looking for higher push once more root confluence cheers 